Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, data structures, beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 62. All right. So the locations array contains two locations, the town square and the store locations. All right. So we've got town square right here, this one right here, as we can see with the name. And then we also have this one right here, as we can also see with this name. Right. So let's come back down here. Uh, currently, we're passing that entire array into the update function. Yes. So right now, the update function has both things in there and we can't be doing that. Uh, so now we're going to pass in only the first element of the locations array by adding a zero inside of brackets at the end of the variable. For example, my function arg at zero. And that's how we read it. We would say arg at zero or locations at zero or whatever at whatever's in there. And it doesn't even have to be like zero. It could be like uh, if and anyway, we'll get it. We'll get into that other stuff later. All right. Uh, so this is called bracket notation. Values in an array are accessed by index. Indices are numerical values that start at zero, and this is called zero-based indexing. Arg at zero would be the first element in the arg array, right? So let's uh, try to solidify this a little bit. So let's say we got this thing. Let's just make it right now. Let's say let array equal, and we're going to have an array like this, and we'll have one, two, three, four, and five as the elements. So we've got the first element here, second, third, fourth, fifth element, right? But like it says up here, they're accessed by index. And this is going to be index zero, index one, index two, index three, index four. So let's prove that. Let's come down here and say console.log. And we can see we're going to put an argument in there and it's going to be array at. And let's put zero to start off with. So we'll go over here to the console and look, we've got one. So here's one. So what if we put two in here? Are we going to get two? Nope, we're going to get three. Why is that? Zero, one, two, right? If we put index four in there, what are we going to get? And are we going to get four? No, we're going to get five. Well, what about when we put index five in there? Undefined. Why? Because zero, one, two, three, four, five is not in the array. So it's going to be undefined. Same with 55, same with this number right here. All undefined because there's not an array, there's not an element at that index in this array. Hopefully that makes sense, all right? Because look, we're gonna be using this and this a lot, all right? And I'm talking a lot, like it's it's ridiculous. It's, this, is, this is a bread and butter thing that we're gonna do. This is how we make our money is by doing these index things, right? Uh, so we've got that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna access the first element in the arg array, right? So we've got this, pardon me, not arg array, in the locations array. So we've got this locations like we went over earlier, uh, or not, I don't know. Anyway, so we've got this right here. And uh, the first one's gonna be this one right here. So index zero is gonna be the town square. Index one is gonna be the store. So we're gonna come down here and we'll say index zero thusly. All right, so let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 63, pardon me. And we'll see you next time.